Hey everyone, it is the dude. Yeah, I got asked to play an all golden rogue deck. I haven't played the rogue in well over two years. Could be going on three. Um, so at first I said, I don't know, let me see. And then I looked, um, I did some research, which I never do. And I typed in wild rogue and up came Raffle couple weeks back and he played the deck I'm about to show you and it's it's pretty fun so I'm glad that I that I crafted the cards and I'll show you what I crafted here in a second but first I want to show you this so I grabbed the bundle that has 30 packs and two legendaries for free and I grabbed another 60 cards and I had gold enough to grab three more packs so I opened 93 packs and of that I got are you ready for this are you ready for this I got the two free golden legendaries, and then I got seven legendaries plus this golden legendary opening pack. So I opened eight legendaries last night, one of them being golden out of 93 packs. That's like ridiculous odds. It's like one in 11. It's like ridiculous odds for legendaries. I mean, they were just, um, it was just, it was just amazing. I kept popping them and popping them and popping them. I was so stoked. So the deck cost me 7,200. 7,200 to craft. I had to craft two preps. Because I haven't played the Rogue in forever, I haven't crafted these cards. They cost a lot of dust. It cost me 3,200 dust to craft the two preps. And the secret passages are new, and those were another 3,200 dust, and the last card I needed to craft was the Necrium Blade. So we're all in at 7,200 dust to complete this deck. You ask yourself, that's a lot of dust, dude. Yes, yes it is, but was it worthy? Sure! I think I'm going to play the Rogue a little bit more now, so I appreciate whoever asked me to do this. I can't remember your name. Um, and the Secret Passage is, like, worthy. Everybody's playing it with Rogue and will be for some time to come, and Prep's just staple. And the Blade's great. So I think I did... I think it was a good choice. Good thing to do. And I really like the deck. And I had all of these Legendaries and Golden Top End uh, cards, so I was like, yeah, this is the one. This is the one we're going to build. I was going to build King's Bane because I own that... Um, shiny and golden, but everybody's seeing King's Bane. It's done. And I hadn't seen this, so I wanted to show you guys this deck. Thank you, Raffle, for making this deck and letting me copy it. Um, two backstabs, two counterfeit coins, two preppers, we talked about that, two secret passage, two cavern shiny finders. I love this card. That's great. Two swindles, two necrium blades. Anka the Buried is kind of a backdoor fix if you don't get what you need a necrium apothecary two of those that's a staple two candle breath two evasive draconoids or no yeah noids um or nid draconid i guess <laughs> chromagus ali straza maligos the silly spell damage dragon nas dormu hello the rope is burning two sleepy dragons one Ysera, one deathwing and the popper of the whole deck is deathwing dragon lord so the nuts on this is three. You get the Necrium Blade. You play it. You swing it into your opponent's head or one of his minions. Turn four, you play the Counterfeit Coin as well as the Necrium Apothecary. And what is that going to do? Hopefully this Deathwing Dragonlord isn't in your hand already. It pulls it from your deck and any dragons that are in your hand get pulled as well. So it's really beefy. It's really burly. Um... It's fun. Let's go ahead and take a match here and see see if we can't get it to pop. I mean, it's a total gimmick deck. It's not a tier deck. And we like that kind of stuff. We like gimmick decks. So so thank you for asking me to play this because I would have never built this deck without it. So I haven't played the Rogue in forever. Like, the last thing I'm thinking of doing is playing a Rogue deck. It is. Rogue and Hunter and Demon Hunter. I just don't, I just don't play those guys ever. But with that new card, the new shiny legend I just showed you, I may start playing some Hunter as well. We will see. Hope you guys are digging the videos along the way. Rest in peace, Wretched Tiller. Rest in peace. We got to play with you for a week. And that was fun enough, I guess, to, for crafting the cards that I did for that deck. I can still dust them, but I don't know if I will or not. The cards that they nerfed. They nerfed that one card really hard, though. So, it probably needs to just get dusted. But, I don't know. We'll see. I have a couple weeks to think about it. To think about it. And that's what I've been doing. Playing against the Shammy, Boatsy. 
Boatsy the Chamois. I like this. Um, this isn't bad, but we should just go for the go for the five, right? Go for the five or keep the draws. Oh man, what to do? What to do? I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna get rid of them both and search for my apothecary so I can pop it. Oh yikes! Here it comes. It's gonna pop on turn four. Here's the nuts. I got the nuts. Yeah, you're not going to make it to your quest, but thanks, Boatsy. Hopefully you're a good sport. Hopefully you're a good sport. Do we? Coin the two? Yes, we do. So now turn three, we're going to play the Necrium and swing it. Turn four, we're going to play the coin into the Apothecary. We just need to get some more dragons in our hand, and then it's just off to the races. Boatsy may already know what we're up to. Boatsy might already know what we're up to, so hopefully he or she does not concede. Boatsy sounds like a girl's name, so we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Did I mess this up? Did I do something wrong? I did. I did. Well, I didn't really do something wrong, but I, I didn't have to play it so fast. Because we still have to wait. The only thing I could have got there was the another counterfeit coin to pull the Necrium. So... Okay. All right. Put up a taunt. It's just as good. That's just as good, people. We need some more dragons. Hello. Hello. We need some more dragons. Here we go. Here we do go. Yep. So turn four, we're gonna four into the necrium. We have two dragons. Plus we're gonna have the third one. That's good enough for me. It's just um, let's get greedy and let's let's ask for a draconoid or a Nas Dormu or a sleepy dragon. Let's do that. Let's ask for something. Let's be that greedy. Bring me my dragon. <laughs> Thank you. So kind of you. Bust them the golden coin. Bust that out. Out comes the loveliness. I know, right? Thank you. Well played. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that, Boatsy. Appreciate that. That's incredible. I know. Incredible. 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 They are all golden and shiny, so I get it. So we're at 28 damage. He's dead right here without a taunt. And even with the taunt, he's dead. I've got the nightmare in hand. That's another five damage. <laughs> so he's dead. Boat sees dead. And that's turn four. So next turn, turn five, we, we win the game. It's ridiculous when it hits. It's just ridiculous. It is. Well played. I thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, Boat C. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know it was fast, wasn't it? Yes, it is fast when you get almost the pure blown nuts on that thing. Oh, very nice. Well, hit me with a like if you like the deck, you like the video. I appreciate that. Hit me with a sub if you're new. I like it. Do it. Enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'll be playing this for a bit. So you might see another few videos of me having some fun with this. And my new golden hero that I chose along the way here. This is my new hero. Hero portrait. Well, good luck out there as always. We'll see you next time.